Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics and Glory in Manchester's journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio, and in last episode we had a couple solid games coming away with a 2-1 victory in the Liberty Cup and a 1-0 victory over Anchorage in the regular season. So we are currently 6th. We are tied both on points and goal differential with Tampa, but they have, I believe, a head-to-head -head win, which is why they're ahead of us in the standings. But today, we take on Madison, and we managed to give Bowers a rest in the last game, so we might be able to get a better chance here for scoring, uh, although Roman will likely be on the other side of things here. Yeah, and Bowers coming in for Hatfield. Now, Madison's not not gonna be an easy game, but I think we've got a pretty good chance to get good results here. Um, Peterson is gonna be coming in for Thacker. He's just a better passer, and as much as Thacker's defense is helpful, with only level one slide tackle, sometimes it's just not going to be all that necessary. Well, I think this is a good setup for us at the moment. Put Hemphill over here so he's going to have a clear path once we false kick Dunlap out of the way. Yeah, I think we're looking good. And we've got this game, then we've got Little Rock, and then our second game. Second leg against Bismarck. So basically, no one gets suspended or injured. We really need to have everyone in a good place for the rest of this season if we're going to accomplish our goals. And Madison will start with the ball. Swan does a lofted pass to Green, and that doesn't get where, they're, where they were hoping it would. Green takes the ball, and he is going for the shot, but it's intercepted by Childress. Yep. Peterson gets towards him, but not to him. And Peterson is just going to hold this one, and we'll see what they do. Raritan is coming back for it, and Raritan does get it. And Raritan is just going to hold this. Now, Peterson, are you in position to press? No, you are not. So this is just going to be a regular Bowers tackle. And we'll pass to Hemphill. We need to make sure they can't get the ball back to green too easily because he's got a chance with McCready out of position. Yeah, we're going to be moving McCready back down to block the potential move pass, and then Bowers is moving down. We can't we can't let Green get the break in, basically. And over comes Raritan, and Raritan goes for the lofted pass, but that doesn't... No, Swan goes for the lofted pass, but that doesn't work out. And Peterson is in position to potentially help Thornton here. Could do the slide tackle. The press doesn't give us an extra action, unfortunately, so the regular tackle it is, and Thornton can't take it. So we're going to get a press off with Peterson, and in comes De Silva. And De Silva moves in, and I don't think we have... Yes, Bowers is able to intercept the pass from Pitts. And in goes Feldman. And the pass does make it over to Roman. And Roman is moving over. He's going to false kick Dunlap out of the way. And we're going to get, hopefully, a chance here. And Hemphill comes back, outduels Feldman, and scores to give us a 1-0 advantage. Great pass on Bauer's part to get it to Roman. 
to begin with. That's the only reason that was even possible. And Doss takes it from Green, who did get the pass this time. And this one goes to Bowers instead of to Peterson. So we're going to try and get it to Hemphill, and that doesn't work. So Peterson comes over to get it. I'm assuming Reardon is coming over to take it from from Peterson. Although, actually, yeah, it looks like Pitts is going to be doing it instead. And Pitts does it, but is not going to keep position. Or not keep position. Uh, not be able to get it anywhere else. And that gives Bowers an easy opportunity to take this. And Greer is going to go for the Rainbow Faint, see if we can keep it. And he is unable to, but my plan does work, and Hemphill gets the ball. So this should prevent them, hopefully, from getting it. No, Swan actually has a chance because he can do a layoff pass to someone. Yep, to get the extra action. So De Silva is going to get a shot off here. But he can't get it by Novak. And that ends the first half with Manchester up one to nothing on a great sequence of passing that began with Bowers there. So we're very happy to have Bowers still in the game. Although, we might need to think of resting him again. Let's see if we can score a second goal at the start of the second half, and then we'll discuss resting Bowers. So out comes Roman. Roman will false kick Dunlap, and now should be... Hemphill going up for it, and he gets it by Meeks. That is a second goal, and I think that's good enough. Hatfield will be coming in for Bowers. I don't just, I don't know how many goals that is for him there. McCready and Novak, two of our younger guys, celebrate in there. I think the young players have had. Had a good time here. They've really started bonding. Led by Thornton and Th and Thacker, who's not on the field right now. But I like I like the future of Manchester here. Doss does get it to Peterson here, and Peterson will get it to Roman, who's gonna false kick Dunlap and does get that through. Unfortunately, because of Hemphill's positioning, we can't do... Whoop. I did not mean to hit that, so it's intercepted by Moyer. And Moyer does get this to Swan. Swan gets it over to Raritan, who keeps it from Thornton. raritan has got a chance here. But the cannon shot is saved by Hodges. And we're going to miss him after this season. Swan, De Silva, and Green are going in. So Thornton will try out in front. Again, we're running into our uh, poor control causing issues here. <laughs> now, what tactic are they going to be doing? They're not crossing. They're just trying to get the pass in to De Silva, and it's up to McCready, and McCready... Oh, no, they tried to get it to Green instead, and Green also, also saved against Hodges. This might be a situation where we bring Hemphill up, especially with Green at that good of control at the moment. Although we can't really do it without adjusting. Yeah, we don't have much of a choice, it seems. We gotta go with what we've got here. 
And McCready does lose out position. Thornton takes position, but that's not going to be enough. It gets to green. And so many people are motivated here. And they finally put it away. I'm, I'm a bit glad it was taking so long to get them to <laughs> finally just put it away. And now we've got an opportunity to, to get back to a two-goal lead, lead in our regular style. With Hemphill doing his stuff. Three to one. Madison is in some trouble here. Green loses the motivation. He's moving down. He hasn't been able to keep it from Doss at any point today. And that will end the attempt. And that does not get over to Peterson. But doesn't bother him. He can get it to Greer. Nope, he can't get it to Greer. Tried to. But failed. Swan coming back. Can he get an extra action here? No, not with just that one. He's moving over and holding. So Peterson moves over, as does Hatfield. And Peterson can press to give Hatfield a better chance to take it, which he does. And he keeps it and is fouled by Swan there. So we're going to have a chance to add a fourth goal. If your team is vulnerable to crosses, we are going to exploit that. You know, if Rowan can, can give us a good pass. Meeks tries to get it by Greer, does get it by Greer, but doesn't get it to Swan. And Swan is exhausted at this point. We're gonna give Greer a chance to take this away, which he does. And now he's just gotta hold on to it. Oh, and they're bringing Feldman up, and that will take it away. But I think Madison has run out of time here. And it looks like they, they think that as well. And we're just going to press with Peterson to end the game. Manchester comes away with a 3-1 victory over Madison. A solid effort. We got a few level ups here. McCready adds some defense and control. Doss adds even more defense. And Greer adds control and accuracy. Good selection. Hemphill, Bowers, Doss. I'm a bit surprised Roman's not in the bed of the match, but that's just how it goes. Someday, Roman, you're going to be able to play attacking midfielder and get that final upgrade. I might do that at some point, just because we getting that upgrade could be very useful. Now, for the other games, Bismarck beat Anchorage, Jacksonville beat Oklahoma City, Sacramento beat Albuquerque, Memphis crushed Topeka, Tampa beat Little Rock, and San Jose Hon beat Honolulu, and this means that nothing has changed in, <laughs> in here. The only team that's now capable of catching us for a glory position is Jacksonville. But Tampa, they managed to win by two goals as well, so we were unable to move past them. Bismarck is starting to pull away as the third promotion team. But top 10's goals, we got Hemphill, who has had a really solid season. Roman continues to keep to maintain his lead over everyone else for assists. Bowers, you just can't do anything to, to catch up to Bowers at this point. And Hodges even added in a couple saves today. So, I'm curious, we might actually, yeah, we now have enough 
No, sorry, that's the Youth Academy. We do not have enough to upgrade our stadium size, but hopefully... Hopefully by the end of the season we'll have enough. But our next game is against common rival Little Rock. And Little Rock, yeah, this, this is a team we can definitely, definitely work with here. We can absolutely get by and score some goals against Little Rock. And I look forward to it in our next episode. And then after that, a very crucial episode where we take on Bismarck in the semifinals and Tampa for our second meeting against them to basically close out the season here. Tampa, that, that could be a really important game for us in the standings. But that's still in the future. The next game will be against Little Rock and only Little Rock. And I hope you enjoyed this episode and will join us as we continue, hopefully continue, our winning streak of late. Subscribe to keep following Manchester's journey. I hope you have a great day and happy gaming.